Hey guys, today we're going to do the seven top seven blue magic cards. I'm basing my ranking on how often it's played, what formats it's played, and how dominant it is for those decks. If the card did not exist, what would the format look like? So number seven, Gitaxin Probe. Gitaxin Probe is a modern staple. It is played in decks that don't even run blue sometimes. Very good information, card cycling, fantastic, uh, very advantageous for you to know what your opponent is doing and very good for you to remove a card so instead of playing 60 card deck you're playing a 56 card deck and that's important for combos number six snapcaster mage fantastic card as more and more better cards are printed the card is going to get only going to get better in time number five days now days is only obviously played in legacy sometimes it's played in vintage and ed8 and stuff like that but days is a very important part of the older formats and also it could be a very important part if it was reprinted in modern the card is necessary for legacy and vintage to exist as it is currently now the next card actually is sees more standard played in modern because it's banned in modern but still being played in legacy and it's being played in vintage quite a bit the card is extremely powerful i could see why they would want to ban the card in modern but at the same time the could it be unbanned i do feel like dig through time would at some point in the future be unbanned now you're going to see a pattern of the next few cards ponder is number three ponder is fantastic it is not as good as the number one card but it does its job very good for miracles very good for getting rid of cards that you don't need and getting the ones that you do need for that particular time number two i cannot imagine what legacy would look like without force of will force of will is one of the most iconic magic cards like when you think iconic magic cards i personally think force of will and then sarah angel and those are my top two force of will has has just been uh it's been the keystone of legacy otherwise legacy might be very unfun force of will prevents those combo decks from being too unfair and allows aggro as well as merfolks and decks like that to compete number one brainstorm brainstorm is probably the best card in magic so it would make sense to see it as number one since it's the best card in magic very very powerful card the card is absolutely bonkers insane any time you can play it be it in tiny leaders eda or casual you should play this card miracles it's very good for miracles but very good with fetch lands actually there's not very many cards that it's not good with um that being said i cannot imagine a legacy or vintage or ed8 i can't imagine ed8 or <laughs> tiny leaders without this card that's how powerful the effect 